So throughout your sojourn, throughout your life travel, you will be tested time and time again. Do you want to get further entangled in the material world? Or do you want to get out? And that will be my next song. Krishna works in mysterious ways. So Maya, what does she do? She tempts you. Come. 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 Unto my clutches. And then I will slap you. Burn. We learned this from the Bhagavad Gita. The other day in the temple, we studied the whole section in Bhagavad Gita about lust. And the line is Dush Orain Analenacha. Yes. <laughs> that lust is never to be satisfied. 
And therefore it burns like fire. The classic example. Lust incarnate. Rava. He had so many women. Even though he had a wife, every night he was having a host of different women. Orgy. And he's still not satisfied. He saw Sita. He was told about Sita from his sister. Who is his sister? And as soon as he heard from her, he said, I must have this woman. He could not control his lust. And during the battle, when Ravana was losing day after day, his ministers, so many people told him, give up your attachment to this woman. But he could not listen. He lost all of his sons because of lust. So lust, Krishna says, lust is the all-devouring sinful enemy of this world. Public enemy number one. Not Al-Qaeda. Not ISIS. <laughs> lust. You give up lust. Shanti. No other way. As long as you chase after lust, no la paz. So, surrender to Krishna. All right. Now, last night we previewed a new song. And it went over so good. <laughs> that I want to sing it again. <laughs> Is that all right? <laughs> and you'll sing your parts. Get back. Get back. Back home. Once again. We'll start off with that. We'll create the Santiago version. <laughs>
Okay, so now we have the one of the top songs from my last CD album. And I'm going to dedicate it again. Unless I was told otherwise. No. <laughs> I'm going to dedicate it to my spiritual son. Lachman Lavin. <laughs> we go way back. <laughs> and you are very dear to me. <laughs> what I like about you, <laughs> you are straight. <laughs> you don't play games. <laughs> Not that anybody else does. <laughs> but in America, I get many characters like that. <laughs> they play games. Even my wife plays games. <laughs> she calls it teasing. And I say, I don't like to be teased. I'm a grumpy old man. <laughs> anyway, and besides that, <coughs> With me, you are very humble. <laughs> so with those two qualifications, I will always take care of you. I will bless you. And may Krishna protect you. So this is for you. Okay. His skin is molten gold He's Krishna in surprise His love it will unfold He's got no disrespectful eyes He'll turn his gaze upon you No. 
one thing I like about Lord Chaitanya is that his teaching that love of God is in everyone's heart. So everyone has the potential to love Krishna. So it doesn't matter whether you're Christian, Jew, Hindu, Muslim, it doesn't matter. God is in your heart. And you simply have to learn how to love Him. And therefore, the main preaching of Lord Chaitanya chant God's holy name and love of God will be awakened. to take us all back home to the spiritual sky he'll get you right on track he's got no lotus special eyes he lets tease you when he'll tease you just to please you he's got from now I will be driving in my car going to some Indian person's home which I do every weekend people sometimes say Prabhu how often do you go to India <laughs> every weekend <laughs> Punjabi home Gujarati home Bengali home South Indian home I go every weekend <laughs> my wife has to make a booking just to see me <laughs> it's true in the, be in the beginning of the year she says take out your calendar you haven't booked any programs block this date this date and I go oh man you're killing me <laughs> but I have to take care Tengo que tener que tomar Porque, porque happy wife means happy life. Men, repeat day. Happy wife is a happy life. That is my first mantra. Before I die, I will write the Narantara Samhita. And that will be the first shloka. And my second shloka, 
Jai Prasad. <laughs> I will start my own religion. <laughs> and that will be the two commandments. Prabhuji, <laughs> you didn't write anything for husband? <laughs> you, won't like you won't like what I say. You want me to come up with one? Yes. Okay, ladies. Stop this watch. <laughs> Be merciful on your husband. <laughs> Because all husbands are big babies. <laughs> we always, we husbands, we always get the last word in. Yes, dear. <laughs> And because we're big babies, <laughs> we require you to take care of us. Now, I will give this advice to all the ladies. <laughs> And Prabhupada says this, <laughs> the way to a man's heart <laughs> is through the stomach. <laughs> Am I right, Rajesh? <laughs> Rajesh says he loves when I come. <laughs> Because every night <laughs> we're getting great prashad. <laughs> So maybe in the future I will come three times in the year. <laughs> Because Senior Ram he said he would sponsor one ticket. <laughs> he said that in March. So I think one of these days I will say First, I want my million dollars. <laughs> And I want my ticket. Why you need a million dollars? See? No, he promised. Only because he promised. No, because you don't just know no Maya, my ex Maya. No, okay, good, good. I like. Okay. Hold on, this is good. I've been challenged. <laughs> I, about 30 years ago, there was one follower of Sai Baba. He was friends with my wife. So he asked me once, I went to his house. And he said, Prabhuji, is money good? Or bad. He thought he was going to trick me. <laughs> But you cannot trick me. <laughs> Because I study Prabhupada's books. <laughs> Immediately I said, It is neither. It's what you do with the money. My guru, Prabhupada, He said, I will approach one rich man, give me one million dollars, I will spend it for Krishna, and come back tomorrow, one million more. So it's what you do with the money. If you use the money to do, pro like, it costs money to do this program, right? This wasn't free. And we live in a real world. The only thing that's free is death and taxes. <laughs> right? Everything else you've got to pay. And now the airlines, they charge you to go to the bathroom. <laughs> It's coming. <laughs> I'm predicting the future. They'll, they'll make a surcharge on the ticket. They charge you for everything. Oh, you're wearing brown shoes. We've got to charge you for that. <laughs> So it's what you do with the money that makes it Maya. Okay. Bueno. <laughs>
Thank you for that nice segue. Let's give him a hand. Now, what song was I going to No, we're off the menu right now. Let's see. Did I have something? Huh? No, no, you had something. Shila Prabhupada's books. You know that song? You heard it. Well, that means Krishna is speaking through you. Give him a big hand. I rarely do this song, but I'm going to do it tonight. All right. All right, give me a second. Let's say I have the right damn border sound. Mm, yeah, that sounds right. Oh, and I want to do one more song after this. I need a secretary. Can you be my secretary? Remind me after this song to sing... Um, what's the name of the song? I can't think of the name. Hare, everybody chant. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. See, you're Hare. chanting. Hare my name is Krishna. Stop it, I got it. Atma <laughs> Vedana. Atma Vedana. Yeah, that's the next song I want to do. It's very important. It's my second best song, and then I'm going to close with my best song. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do number two and number one on the Narantara chart. All right. You asked for it? Srila Prabhupada Sacrificed his life To save this earthly planet From famine, war, and strife Remember all the troubles The pains he undertook 
before I wrote the next song. This was my number one song. So now it's number two. I wrote this song in 1997. And I was so pleased with the words, the melody, and I recorded it. 1997 was one of the best years of my life. My life was so happy. My grandson and daughter and son-in-law were living with me in my two-bedroom apartment. <laughs> my grandson was two years old. He was a beautiful golden baby. A little bit of a brat. <laughs> and it was just a wonderful time. And I was doing lots of recording. I was the vice president of the temple in Los Angeles. I had already been doing three years of preaching with the Indians. And I felt like I was in heaven. But how time changes things. But now, heaven in Santiago. <laughs> Never felt like this before I chanted. How did I exist before I chanted? Now you're on my mind. You're there all the time.
Four. Rosha. Give me a second. I'm too high right now. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Yes, Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Ah, let's see. Did you enjoy tonight's program? Yes. Or she, do you think you'd be better off staying home tonight? No. no. You approve? Yes. You okay. If you're if you're happy, I'm happy. <laughs> All right. So this song is in the key of D minor. So we gotta find this key. All right. This will be the final song. So after this, we'll have Arti and Kirtan. Sachi, you're happy with tonight's program? <laughs> All right. If you didn't get a song dedicated to you, there's always March. <laughs> Let's see if tonight's the night I cry in this song. <laughs> and I really like, see I have drum here, drum here, drum here, surround sound. <laughs> no, true, it's true. Yes, I have a feeling this recording is coming out. <laughs> and when I, sometime, what's good about these recordings, Someday I'll be driving and I'll be listening and while I'm listening I will remember this scene. And in this way I think just a few more months I'll be back home in Santiago. Now who was it that gave the definition of Santiago? Was it you, Rosa? No. Yes. I gave you the USA. Yeah, oh, yes. Very good. Today, Roshan came up with something brilliant. USA means United States of Asuras. <laughs> Isn't that good? Get mad, yeah. Krishna has spoken through your lotus mouth. Rakesh, were you the one that gave the definition of sun? No, I think so. Roshan only gave it. It was like Sant Aagai. Yes. What is the def? Please, San, Maharaj. Santiago, I said Sant, come and go. <laughs> is he right? Yes. Again, that's two for two. That's like, good. Well, since I've been in my You got to help me 
Emily.